Today we're going to tour MI Homes Newport model home in a brand new community here in Winter Garden, Florida. Stay tuned. It's Amy with Heart and Home Orlando and today I am so excited that we are going to be featuring a new community here in Winter Garden, Florida. This is Encore Odovation, another outstanding MI Homes community. And what is really exciting about this particular opportunity is that the community is brand new with additional phases still in the future to come. So if you were looking to purchase now, great, they can take care of you. If you're looking to purchase maybe a year or two from now, you know what, they might still have some availability as the community itself continues to grow. All right, so this is their Newport floor plan. This is their beautifully decorated model home. The floor plan and the layout may look a bit familiar because sometimes these builders actually uh, make some small modifications and then give it a different name. So it is very similar to their Newcastle floor plan, but when you see the interior design that the interior designers do to these homes, um, the design choices that they make, it always looks brand new to me. So let's take a look at this gorgeous model home. So the entryway here in the foyer, you do have a two-story high foyer and you can tell upstairs that they've done the wood spindles. I like to point things out because this is a gorgeous gorgeous decorated model and it doesn't have the iron spindles. Sometimes you think, oh, it has to have that fancy, fancy upgrade. It's an expensive upgrade, but you can see how gorgeous it is even if you do um, a different level of those options and upgrades. So big, beautiful foyer. Now over here to my right, um, to your left, you're gonna have the formal dining room. So again, take a look at what they've done design-wise and how they have really created a completely different look in this particular dining room. For fun, after you watch this video, go back and look at all of my different floor plans and videos of the Newcastle, and I can guarantee you that each time it's gonna look like it's a different home. But this is a beautiful space. It's very elongated, so it gives you plenty of room for your true formal dining room table where you're gonna to need to seat more than just maybe your family of two or three people. There is also a butler's pantry, which we'll reference as we go back around. So one of the other reasons that this floor plan, by the way, a top seller, which is why they continue to revamp it and put it in each of their communities, is that you have a three-car garage five bedrooms and there's some flexibility with the way that you choose the layouts whether or not you want to add additional bedroom create maybe um, reduce the tandem garage and create an actual in-law suite we'll talk about it as we go through it but this is a really versatile floor plan so your garage entrance is actually right over here of course is it their model home so it's their sales center at the moment but you also have back over here you can see they've done um, your entryway and then you have a nice closet over here but what is fabulous about this home is this space right here, this kitchen, this massive kitchen, your built-in breakfast nook over here, everything open and connected to the family room. I really do love, love, love this particular layout. So look at your kitchen. So when you look at the design options that they've chosen, I am always inspired. You have the Waterfall Island, by the way, if you're looking and you love this, yes, it is gorgeous. It's also a rather expensive option when you go to the design center, but it is doable and boy, is it stunning. Really love the pendant lights that they've chosen. Everything is really cool. And see, this is where you can, for a really small amount, really make your, your home have a pop of personality, right? It doesn't have to be just a plain globe. Give it some wow factor. Then look what they've done here. They've alternated. You've got some glass cabinets. They've even done the open shelving for the plates. These are the types of things that you get to do to your home when you build it and customize it a bit so that you can really have it function for you. Before we keep going, I do want to mention your butler's pantry over here. I mean, take a look at this, right? This this is not your average run-of-the-mill butler's pantry. Usually you're going to have a lower cabinet, you'll have your counter, and then you're going to have upper cabinets. Look at that spectacular um, design, interior design masterpiece. That's a piece of art over there. And back behind me is also your walk-in pantry. So you have a nice big pantry. Again, gorgeous kitchen. Love, love, love this kitchen. Love all of the gourmet aspect and the glass kind of the blend between the full cabinet and the glass cabinets are really attractive. So over here you have your um, informal dining, your day-to-day -day dining, you have your formal dining up that way through the butler's pantry kitchen and now you have this area that's designated for your informal. What I love is that you have these big sliders that are going to take you out to your lanai space and your backyard space. So remember as a model home they're going to give you all sorts of um, examples of what you can do with your outdoor space. So this right here is your family room space and what I really like about this 
is that this is actually kind of reversed of the way most of their models of this same or similar floor plan has been shown. Usually the sofa has been here with the TV or a piece of interest over on that side. So I like that in this case, I feel like this whole concept is brand new because they flipped the switch on me. They've turned it around. Sofa's there, TV's there. Again, love, love, love it. So one of the other reasons that this floor plan has been such a big seller is that you have a bedroom and a full bath here on the first floor. So right behind you is the first full bath and that's going to have a nice shower stall in there, um, you know, toilet, single sink. It also is going to double as your pool bath. You can kind of see behind you that you actually have a, um, a door there that's going to access to the outdoors if you choose to add a pool or some type of an outdoor living space. But what's back behind me is a nice bedroom. So this is the way the home is typically, okay? You have a bedroom here and you have a bathroom there. But right behind you is the third bay of the tandem garage. So you have a three car tandem garage. If you chose to get rid of or reduce that third bay, that room right there can become like a full in-law suite. I've had lots of clients that have built that. Maybe they have a relative that can't go up and down the stairs, so they need like a dual master type of an effect. Okay, so that's the first floor, but now upstairs, oh my goodness, just wait. So much fun upstairs, I'll meet you there. So the fun continues as we go upstairs because upstairs on the second floor of this Newport floor plan, you're gonna have an awesome game room, but you have to hang on. Before we do that, I wanna point out a couple of things. So over here, I just like to point out some of these really beautiful ornate decorative touches that the interior designers do. So you have this grand staircase, this huge wall back there, but with some very simple trim, they really have created a visual kind of a masterpiece. It's beautiful art back there on the wall. Okay, so come this way. So this this is the master bedroom. Two doors, you know I like my double door entrances, like it's a big grand entrance. Love, love, love this. So you have a nice big huge master bedroom, like huge master bedroom. You have a gorgeous tray ceiling and one of the little decorative touches I want to point out, so not only have they done like a double tray, but they've done inset lighting up there as well as done some uh, wallpaper up within the tray itself. These are all obviously designer touches, not something that the builder is going to do for you, but look at the flow and the feel of the home and the way the home is laid out and if it checks off the boxes for you. So checking off boxes, I mean, love, 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 huge master bathroom. So this master bathroom has an incredibly long, 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 long countertop here. Beautiful, lots of space. You have two sinks and I like what they've done here by having this little part, um, kind of the void of cabinet here so that you can push the stool under and let that double as a makeup counter. Back over here, you're gonna have a gorgeous oversized shower. You have your privacy door for the toilet, of course. And then back behind is you also have your big oversized master closet. So one of the things that this home actually offers you is a structural option to add this balcony here off of the master bedroom, which is really nice. You know, depending on what your backyard view is, you might want to take advantage of a little relaxation, come out here with your cup of coffee in the morning, or maybe it's with your glass of wine in the evening, or maybe it's coffee in the evening if you're like me and you kind of don't really sleep. So about six o'clock, it's time for coffee because you still have several more hours worth of work. Here you go. You can at least do this, have your balcony and enjoy your big, beautiful view back behind you. So now one of the other things with this floor plan is that you have an option, um, and it's so exciting. I love it when the builders give you some variety within the flow of the home. So for instance, you can add an additional room in there so you have like a sitting area, or you can make this bedroom a bedroom. So over here, this could theoretically be a part of the master, or you can create the additional bedroom here, like what they've done. First of all, super, super, super cute. So this is what is so exciting. I love all of the new kind of just designer touches, and I just wish I knew how to do any of that, but it takes a room, a square or a rectangle, and it really makes it really, really pop with some really cool visual interest. All right, speaking of visual interest, are you taking a look at this? So I wanna point this out because this is simply wallpaper. You have a brick um, type of a wallpaper and it really does make a simple, simple, but um, really powerful statement. Simple to do, powerful statement. Okay, back over here. You're gonna have a nice big bathroom. This bathroom is gonna service those two bedrooms, the bedroom that we just saw and the bedroom that we're getting ready to see. So you have 
have a nice big bathroom. You've got two sinks, lots of space to maneuver around in there. So this bedroom is a little bit bigger. I've always felt in the floor plan that this one is just a little bit bigger than the others, but just a little bit. You have nice big windows here at the front, lets in lots of, of light. And this bedroom is located toward the front of the home. So I don't know if that matters to you or not. Sometimes it does. Sometimes people are like, I like to be at the front of the home. Some people like to be in the back of the home. I don't know. So over here, game room. Oh my goodness. But don't look yet. Come over here. All right. So this is your laundry room. I love what they've done here too. So kind of um, take a look at the, the smart design. So first of all, washer dryer. Okay, fine. That's function, right? Your utility sink. You can add that here. And then cabinetry up above. I love again that they've done some glass because you can still make this room pretty. Just because it does the dirty work, it can still be pretty. And then look at this. Oh my goodness. Love, love, love. And again, you know, these are types of things you can do after you close on the home. Not hard. If you um, have some kind of a DIY sensibility about yourself, you might be able to kind of duplicate that. But what a great idea. All right. So now, okay, fine. You know what? You can't look at the game room yet. We're going over here. Ha ha. So back over here, you're going to have in bedroom four, um, I think it's called bedroom floor on the bedroom four on the floor plan. There we go. Um, either way, this bedroom has an option for you to do this full bath. So there is a full bath here. You have a tub shower combo, toilet, single sink counter. And then of course you've got the linen closet here as well, but you still have this bedroom. The bedroom still exists. The bedroom will be a little bit bigger if you don't do the bathroom. But for most people having this bedroom upstairs with its own private bathroom is absolutely a bonus. You definitely want to have that. Okay. Now I'll let you look at this game room. So game room, you know, one of the most important parts of our home, especially if you have kids or a larger family, you need that that place for everyone to gather and have fun. The family room downstairs is a great spot for that, but most people want that fun zone. And that's exactly what this is. A big open room, nice big open canvas. The designers have done a beautiful job, but this is your spot for fun, for the family to gather around. And this is absolutely a fantastic community. All right, if you are interested, please give me a call at 407-848-8042. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, we are at Encore Innovation and my homes. Remember, I do not represent or work for the builders. I'm a realtor here helping you. Hopefully this video was helpful and I will talk to you soon, 407-848-8042. Happy house hunting.